Hey everybody, what's up? It's Nihon Tiger, how you doing? Oh, have to go to work today. Don't work too hard, eat something good for lunch. Popular! Interesting. Where did I just get that one? Oh, okay. This is what a report say. I was gonna say welcome back to Stardew Valley. Storm is approaching. Thunder and lightning is expected. What time? I've been waiting for one of those. Oh, he is here. Hi, Nihon. Beautiful day, isn't it? Sure, I brought you a gift. It's a sculpture I've been working on, just for you. Whoa! You received a Leo sculpture. It's called How I Feel About Nihon. I hope you like it. Aww. Uh, pick up the recipe of receipt. Enjoy. I wanted to say thanks for making me feel welcome. I'm Kent. Alright, so um, we get to maybe get some more of the... Uh, Lightning going here for our, our rod, pine tar. Uh, where is. Oh, definitely got some, some stuff here to grab. But, uh, yeah. I think we're just kind of. I think we're just at this point waiting for. Oh, I forgot the seeds the other day. I'll have to fix that. So, grab. More like coffee beans. Oh, and these coffee beans are done now. Excellent. So we're getting a lot of coffee beans. This is great. Um, oh, and honey's done. Coffee's done. Coffee. Um, so we've got those I can throw in there. Get some seeds and stuff. But uh, no, no real things on the schedule for today. I think we're just gonna mostly try and get stuff caught up and ready for tomorrow. And maybe deliver a few goods. So I, I assume that most of this will be a very, very boring day. Oh wow, this is really grown in. It's Friday, it means cart lady's here too. I almost forgot. So well, we're gonna have to make a trip out to see her in a moment here. And I guess we can go try and drop the cheese off at Leah's place. Nope, don't eat the egg. And coffee for everybody else. Uh, so in those go, I got 21 hot peppers, wow. In that goes. Those can go in. Put the oranges in there. Peaches go go in there. And egg. And floral. Yeah, I think we're good on that. And the coffee's done. So let's go visit Cart Lady, and we'll see what she has to offer. We'll go visit Pierre. Maybe drop off, drop off some gifts in town while we're there, and this sounds like a good plan. Hey friend, how are ya? What do you got for me today? Wood skip, shad, chanterelles, bug meats, lobster bits, casserole burger, rare seed, eh, nothing. Nothing going today. That's fine. Hey, the uh, here's your cheese. Exactly what you wanted. Thank you. You're welcome. 
so really quickly, run to town, give the coffee to all the people. All the people want coffee. Except Kent, he wants beer. It's kind of weird to come back down here and see all the shells and stuff and think of the the old habits I used to... Oh, no, don't give me coffee. The old, like, habits I used to do. Where I'd run down here and collect all the... All the stuff. Just trying to make the money. Get some seeds. And how I don't have to do any of that now, because... We have a farm, so we don't have to scavenge. It's fun to do it, but not necessary anymore. It's just kind of, it's weird, because I've only been playing this game for a couple months, and... Tech, wow, that's a lot of stuff we haven't picked up in a while. We can drop that off, make a little bit of money. Oh yeah, we can make a little bit of money off that. And... That's just clay. But, uh, yeah. It, <laughs> it's, uh... <laughs> Ah, oh, excuse me there, I had a cough. Um, but it's very, just very interesting how the dy dynamics of the game change. Here you go, Willie. Uh, how they change over time and how they change so quickly within a year. We're no longer foraging, but we've got this extensive coffee growing operation. <laughs> Which, once we get the. The other stuff may actually be all we do year-round is grow coffee and turn it up. Oh, George, there you go. Thanks. He's happy. And is it coffee? Uh, when you want the rainbow trout. Harvey, I gave you a coffee, right? Okay. Here we go. Can I give you a coffee? Give it to gift somebody here. Okay, where's Carolyn at then? Carolyn. No. Stop drinking, trying to drink a coffee. Where is Carol from HR? I don't know where she is. Yeah, I mean, I think. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, I mean, we think about it, and we're not really mining anymore. We're not. We're not really doing a whole lot. It's like our whole lives have changed. Thank you, Demetrius. Very interesting specimen. And Sebastian. Oh. Oh. We're playing a card game. Hey, Nihon. Sam and I were about to play Solarian Chronicles the game. Why don't you join us? It's better with three players anyways. Okay, yeah, sure. Okay, here we go. Let me draw the scenario card. Nerding out. Looks like today's quest will take us into the Necromancer's Tower to try and reclaim the Solarian staff from the clutches of the Dreadlord Zarth. Cool, Nihon, you ready to choose your character? Yeah. Uh... Healer. I prefer help others. The other hand, that's a pretty important role. I guess I'll pick the wizard then. Cool, Warrior is my favorite anyway. Let's begin. And cutscene. Oh, it's actually a, a thing. <laughs> the king has entrusted you and your companions with recovering the Solarian staff. A task which, if completed successfully, will ensure your place in the Hall of Legends as well as a sizable fortune of gold and silver. Oh my god, it's like D&D. Except in cards. After a large... Long month of journeying across the unforgiving land, you step out and onto the precipice to see your destination looming in the distance. There beyond a moonlit plain lives the Necromancer's Tower, where the dread Lord Zarth usurps the power of the stolen Slarian staff for his wild purposes. The tower lies before you. Um, go in the front. Fortune favors the bold. Oh, the skeleton guards the hard way before you. It looks dangerous. It's like a... What do you do? Fight the skeleton. Yes. Skeleton lunges forward. Raise your shields. You successfully block the attack. The skeleton stumbles backwards, giving you enough time to strike out and slay the foul creature. Awesome! You continue down the hallway, taking care not to step on the skeleton's remains. If 
find yourself in a sewer-like corridor. To your left, the hallway glows with a peculiar green light. To your right, a staircase leads up to the dark. Let's go to the hallway on the left. Yeah. <gasps> oh my god. You're in the room. On your left is a ladder. On your right, three prisoners are filling strange glowing capsules. They appear to be in a process of some kind of transformation. Could this be some sick experiment of the Dreadlords? Uh, we do is do this with this possible destroy the capsules. I was putting these polar souls to rest. You and your companions climb the ladder. A door. You come to a door at the end of a hallway. The time has come to face the Dread Lord Zareth. Oh my god. Zareth, intruders! How dare you trespass my private chambers? Ah, so you've come for the soul and stuff. <laughs> Fools, you'll make a nice addition to my skeleton army. Dread Lord Zareth cast Shadow B. You're able to dodge the spell, but your companions are greatly injured. Uh, what do you do? Heal the... Heal the warrior. Let's heal Sam. Thanks, Nihon. Aw, Sebastian. So he charges ahead strikes down... Sam charges ahead and strikes down Zarth, freeing the Slarian staff from his clutches and restoring peace and order to the world. Well, finish the scenario with a B rating. Okay. Hey, not bad. It took me like three or four tries to beat my first scenario. Thanks for stopping by. I'll see you later. Yay! We did the thing! Okay, and... No, don't drink the coffee. Give it to Sebastian. Give it to Sebastian. He likes that. Okay. Now we'll just go over and run over to Linus real quick. Because he likes those things, too. And he, is he not at his tent? Do I have to go hunting for him? I have to go hunting for him. Great. Great! Ooh, there's Barry back here. Oh, he's right down here. Durr. There you go. How are we doing on hearts right now? Uh... Yeah, we're doing okay. We're doing okay. Doing pretty, pretty, pretty good. Oh wow, George is at five now. Cool. So we're uh, we're making it come along quite well. I almost forgot that we were supposed to come over here and uh, grab some seeds. forgot that we were supposed to get those and we never got them. Five. Okay. We're just going to get a whole bunch from them. Plant them all. Plant them all. Collect them all. Um, let me see. Flex um, speed draw is probably what we want. Let's try this. Let's try it to speed grow. Let's see how that... How that affects. We'll do an experiment here. So you can't have the speed grow and the fertilizer in the same spots. That's that's no good. Um, game won't let you do that. So I'm gonna plant those there, and then I'm gonna actually, you know what? I'm gonna save the rest of these because we'll need eight of them. We can plant here when these are done. And we'll need some extra seeds as well. There we go. How are we doing on gifts? Um, Clint hasn't gotten any. We'll give him, we'll give Clint some, something tomorrow. Wow, Clint's already at five hearts. Um, that's pretty cool. 
So George, Willie, Carolyn, we need to give her one. Sandy and Krobus. So we'll save these three for for tomorrow. And actually. I kinda wonder if this won't matter too much because of the fact that the uh the hops automatically do grow, but they may grow quicker if we do this. So let's go ahead and water them all. And keep the rest for... And maybe we won't keep the rest, we'll just put these two down here. We'll have to get some seeds when all those when all those things run out though, we'll have to get some seeds. And we'll go to bed. Tomorrow it's gonna be raining all day. We made a lot of money though. Oh boy, we made fifty three hundred. That's been a while since we made that much. And the rain man cometh. Hi cat. Fluffer loves you! Oh, Fluffer, I love you too. Weather report says it's gonna be a beautiful sunny day tomorrow. Cool. If you wanna play a cruel joke, my mother give her squid. She might not forgive you though. I'm not sure why. Dear, I don't wanna do that. Oh, there's a letter out here. Ah, recipe in this magazine thought it sounded interesting. Feel free to give me a taste if you make it. Heh <laughs> Shane. And how do you do it today? I include some instructions to make how to make one of my favorite recipes. Thanks, Linus. Recipe from the saloon. Cranberry sauce. Item is collecting dust in the tool shed. Wow. Look at all the things we got today, guys. Look at all the things. Oh, cutscene. Hey, it's Alex. He's doing the lifting thing. I just came back to give him a <laughs> birthday present. That was all. That was all. Oh yeah, I was just doing daily strength training routine. Sorry I had no shirt on. Eh, that's okay, buddy. I understand. I mean, I've been meeting talking about something. Uh, I've started to realize, well, I've been really rude toward you in the past. You know about going all pro, going pro and all that. I guess I might not actually be cut out professional sports. Maybe it's just a childish dream, you know? Anyway, I want to apologize for you bragging and being annoying about it. I appreciate you stayed friends with me through all that. Of course, buddy. High five. There you go. I'm just watching him lift, I guess. Hey, bro. Remember your birthday, I'm impressed. Thanks. Hey, George. There you go. Enjoy. Everybody's happy when it's coffee time. Coffee time. I don't know. I don't know why I do that voice. It's just. A, it's just. A, it's just a really ridiculous voice. But I like it. 